and welcome to another RSR. Tonight we are reviewing United States 1, Mexico 1 in the 2023 Continental Classico. Estados Unidos 1, 1, Mexico in la Clasico Continental 2023. 1-1 draw between both sides and it's really two defensive mistakes. One each team really led to the draw being a draw. This could have been scoreless honestly and it was a very tight game both teams had their moments i would say the start of the first half and the end of the second half add those together those were the u.s's moments then in between that mexico from about the 30th minute on up until about the 70th basically had the game in their hands but again a late defensive mistake by mexico ends up making it a draw no penalty shootout tonight they didn't want to do it I think they should have, but it is what it is. Halftime, nil-nil. Cero a cero. Miedo, tiempo. Nil-nil at the half. Tight game. First 30 minutes, USA looked like the better team. They had Mexico on the back foot. They had them pushing back. They had the momentum. They had the chance to take the game to Mexico and take the lead. But Mexico starts building back into the game, pushing forward. And starting to build some character, starting to build some fight as this match went on for Mexico. Now, and that continued through the second half up until about the 70th minute. But Mexico started building into this game, started looking like the slightly better team. And as this game went on, that kept being the case until about the 70th minute. Then, at the half, 56th minute, Uriel Antuna is one-on-one -on -one with Sean Johnson. Balls played back or played up to him. High line gets beat. It's Antuna versus Sean Johnson. That's about it. And Sean Johnson can't get the hand of the ball. It just puts slightly past him to the near post. Antuna scores, rolls it in. 1-0, Uno Acero, Mexico. Antuna scores on Sean Johnson. You can't really blame Sean for that, but it is what it is. I'd rather him do it here than on Saturday. That's all I'm going to say. With that being said, 81st minute, Jesus Ferreira, ball crossed in by Jordan Morris, defended to Jesus Ferreira, tapped to his foot. Acevedo out of the net. All Ferreira has to do is tap it in past a diving Acevedo, and he does, makes it 1-1, one, one, uno, uno, and that's the way the game would end. A pretty scrappy goal by Jesus Ferreira to tie it up and get a draw out of this. U.S. still unbeaten against Mexico since Denver. Stats are as follows. Four shots to nine, one shot on goal to three, 47% possession to 53% possession, 490 passes to 548, 84% pass accuracy to 86, 15 fouls to seven, zero offside to three, three yellow cards to zero, zero red cards to zero, one corner to three. The USA, again, dominated the first 30 minutes. They were the better team. Then Mexico had their moments. Then USA came back to tie the game and pull it back to their side as time started to expire. And the U.S. definitely could have won this game had there been more than two minutes of stoppage time. Definitely could have went their way. But as the match went on, the U.S. definitely sort of stepped back and pulled back as this match went on. You could have easily saw that the USA should have won. They had they should have had an early goal. They had a late goal. Then the middle of the game was a total clown show. The middle of the game did not play out to the specifications that the US wanted it to. It's not like they got overran, but one mistake gave Mexico the opener for sure. And defensively, the U.S. could have been better. Sean Johnson definitely had a great game, I think, besides the one goal against. He should have had a clean sheet, but those clean sheets don't count for Toronto points. So do I really care? No. I just want him to look good. He still had a great match. Sean still had a great match, so I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it, as he should. With that... Being said, Mexico definitely looked like they had the better squad on paper. 
and they definitely transferred that throughout the match. They looked like they had the better squad on paper. They had a B squad. The U.S. had a C squad. And it looked like that for most of the game. Yes, the U.S. started hot and heavy. But Mexico then tuckered them out, pulled it back, and said, okay, here's what we're really going to do. And that's what happened. Mexico, in this game, started to just work this the right way. They had the better talent on paper than U.S.'s C team. But this game was very similar to the Gold Cup Final in 2021. I like to liken it to that, especially the first half. The first half, the whole game was really tight, just like the 2021 Gold Cup Final. You could have easily had a scoreline like this instead of a 1-0 extra time win. Could have easily had a 1-1 scoreline. It was a very similar game tonight to that 21 Final. And it sort of reminded me of how that final went. I think personally this game was a definite tight match. I think this was more of a tryout match for Gold Cup players because I think the U.S. will probably go B team, C team again. Mexico, I'm not completely sure. But again, even a B team for Mexico is still a pretty normal team for them. Which is why I said they had better players on paper, because look at that. But with that being said, when you look at it, I think the U.S. were trying to try out some players for Nations League and more specifically the Gold Cup. And did that really pan out? Not really. I didn't really see anybody but Sean Johnson looking good in this game. Really. Morris did not look like he was on form like he has been for the Sounders. I think this game was a very questionable performance for most players. Sonora didn't really show up. Cade Cowell didn't look that good. The back four, Aaron Long, still suspect at the back. Zimmerman was eh. Yedlin was okay. He's had better performances. Dest, yeah, he didn't look that good. Except for like the first, what, 30 minutes? I think Dest was sort of just there as a passenger. He can run, but maybe it's because he doesn't get much play time right now with AC Milan. I think that may be a case of it. That's why they let him go. They didn't need him. They don't want to play him. Maybe that's hurting his confidence, and I wouldn't blame him if it is. Ferreira with a great goal. Morris had the cross, but... Again, I think it was a good defensive redeflection to Ferreira that really helped that cross become an assist. So, you know, I'll give Jordan Morris the benefit of the doubt there. The U.S. team was just milk toast tonight besides their pressing. Their goalkeeping was great. Their defense was just eh. It was a story of eh, milk toast. That's all of the night for sure. Like, I didn't see... Anything that would really constitute a good Gold Cup story. I didn't. And the USA, maybe they have to reconsider their plans. Go half and half for both tournaments. Because, well, you can. Canada tried in 2021, or they tried to go half and half. Maybe since they're in both tournaments, you know, maybe they won't. But with that being said, they still had the June window for qualifiers. They still went half and half or tried before Davies got hurt back in 2021. So maybe you have to choose that. I don't know because personally, I think the USA didn't look up to the task tonight. They looked like a C team. I thought they would win. Mexico did look impressive slightly, I think. They did impress me slightly. But... In context, I don't think that really changes the discussion under Diego Coca. I don't think it does. I think Mexico and the FMF still have some problems to work out. I don't think this game changes the discussion. I think they're still against the big boys with the big players when it's the most meaningful teams. They're not going to do anything. Simple as. I think Mexico, this doesn't change the discussion. It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, it was a good performance. I'm impressed, slightly. I expected less, and they came with more. 
Fair. Man of the match for me, Sean Johnson. I have to. I have to. Is it bias? Maybe. Do I care? No. He had a good game. He really did. Besides the one goal, he had a great game. Sean Johnson did a lot of work. Should have had a clean sheet, but again, I'd rather him give up that goal tonight than Saturday, so... See if I eat some humble pie for that. But with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribe, send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlist. Share us with friends and family. All that great stuff. I shall see you on Saturday for a live watch along and review of Philadelphia Union versus Toronto FC. It'll be Parley Day. And guess what? I'm wearing my old Parley jersey. Played out so well, didn't it? With that being said, I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you later.